we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others, mocking, said, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make an announcement. Has anyone heard the earth is flat? Well, I just got kicked out of Starbucks for asking NASA employee questions because he's lying. Once I ran across this flat earth and I said, okay, let me find out about it. Then somebody mentioned it's in the Bible. You know, it's, I said, the Bible. Now, definitely you got my interest now. Let me see what the Bible says about it. I go to the Bible and there's other people that's been in it longer than me was pointing out different scriptures and I'll say, okay, I'm gonna look at the scripture and I'll see. I've read it and I'm like, hmm, wow. Hmm. Then I started reading more, more and more. And I'm like, and in me, for me, I connect dots. I collect the dots and then I line the dots up. And for me, my baseline is the Holy Bible. And even if you disagree with me, you can't help but at least know that I genuinely believe this. And I'm not backing down and I'm not going away until God takes his hand off of me and allows someone to take me out. This is my calling. Prepare a way for the Lord because every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, King of Kings, the creator of this flat plane. He's the one showing us flat earth today. Jesus loves me and he loves you too and he loves you too. He loves these people in here and he loves everybody in the world. Jesus. All you've got to do is repent of your sins and you will be, get, be forgiven. And do you think you can win Spotty? Do you want to win Spotty? John 3.16, for God so loved the world that gave his only begotten son, whoever believes in him shall have eternal life and shall not perish. I know. You're heavier than air, so you fall. He could do it, but he didn't do so it. What, he's very clear what he made. It's stationary. Yeah. So, so I would have to disagree that he's very clear what he made because... So if you have not already become a believer, I would encourage you to believe in Jesus, the Son of God, the Savior. Confess him in your life as Lord of your life. Obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Turn from your ways, the, the sinful ways, the ways of this world, and turn towards Jesus Christ. Be baptized into Jesus Christ. Be immersed. Receive forgiveness of sins. To be washed pure, to be raised to walk in newness of life. And not only that, but receive the gift of God's Holy Spirit to help you live uh, spiritually and righteously on this earth. 
and to help you have that uh, looking forward of the hope of eternal life. Because once these truths are revealed by Christ through us to the rest of you, and you mock, scoff, and hate it without cause, you are truly hating the Word of God, Jesus Christ, once again without cause. A lesson can't, on can't density. Repeat, can't repeat that wonderful theory you decided. Can't repeat it anywhere. All you can do. Wait, so why is that gravity? Why is it not gravity? What is gravity? Can you explain to me what gravity is? It's not happening right now. It's not happening. Is it happening? What is it going to when it hits the bottom of the field? Is it, is, it giving, is it giving curvature down there or is it finding level? Water always needs to find level. So what's Jesus' name? It's the Word of God. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. And this is what I'm doing. I'm standing on the word of God. And I hope and pray that you too will join me. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, the earth is flat. Research flat earth. Thank you very much. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. But I pray to God that out of all the things that could come out of this, that you would see that this does matter and it is the truth. Neil deGrasse Tyson came forward. You know who? Do you know Neil deGrasse Tyson? I got one. He came forward and said, hypothetically, if the sun is smaller and closer, the same shadows would appear. It actually is inconclusive. It will actually prove both: a flat with the sun closer and smaller, and also a globe if it's 93 million miles away. So obviously, you can't use that as proof. This is my belief: is that when we receive that spirit from Jesus. He opens our eyes and we that can't happen until you believe in him and I mean believing page once people need to know the earth is flat love you peace it is so when I read these words when I read the words that are in here I'm being told something and I'm giving I'm given an understanding to understand it but then after I read these words there's more words that come after them. it proceeds from the mouth of God it proceeds Yep. From the mouth of God. So this is the written word, and then we get the, we get the. I can't say it even hearing because I mean it is hearing. It is. Are you paying attention? Because he's coming very soon. So choose this day whom you will believe and henceforth serve: Satan and his bogus globe Earth lie, or God and his true creation. I imagine Joe Hill gets a lot of crap people. 